Happy International Women's Day. I was always scared of leaving my country, but moving to Ireland and getting to experience a whole new community gave me a whole different perspective about life. It would definitely be in my fourth year when I went into um, doc Dr. Yana Lighthouse class to do um, African literature. Fall of the Berlin Wall, and I was in Berlin. I'm from East Berlin. It was the first time that I could actually travel to West Berlin and first an experience of the many things I knew from television and radio, uh, you know, of uh, the other part of the city and uh, the door opened for me. Trying to really convince funding agency like the IRC or just like within UL to like really believe in your research. To overcome it, it's been like a lot of imposter syndrome life because when you're applying for funding, it's why are you the best candidate and I think a lot of the time like where I don't know if it's being a woman or I don't know it's one of those things it's really hard to like hype myself up and talk myself up. So um, every uh, uh, professional life and every personal life has many obstacles. I think uh, it's important to have an open mind to self-critically reflect and uh, to engage in continuous development. I see every day as a, an opportunity to learn but to me it comes so easily because I'm passionate about each and everything I put my mind to. It kind of becomes a very like conscious effort to prioritize your mental health and to listen to your body when there is um, burnout and to learn how to say no. Another element of self-care is uh, sorry, going to the gym so I think like even that being able to take an hour out of my day when I'm doing the PhD and just going to the gym has like uh, really helped. You don't uh, serve anyone if you burn out uh, and um, can no longer engage uh, in the execution of your responsibilities. So I um, have really taken to yoga. I do hot yoga. I try to do it three times a week. It's not always possible. Uh, and um, I have a passion also for uh, gardening, uh, so I grow part of my own vegetables and uh, getting involved, uh, you know, sticking my fingers in the mud and uh, uh, growing things, uh, being out in, in, in the garden with nature really helps me to clear my mind. I love swimming, open water swimming, so any opportunity I have, even in winter, I will uh, use to uh, do a few uh, uh, strokes will always be my mother. She told me how to be independent and work my way through life and I believe that has been my biggest empowerment. I'm Wangari Mathai so um, I'm looking at her memoir called On Board and I think it's been one of the things that has like really significantly changed my life as an African academic and like on other bases and definitely my mom. Shout out mom. I think my mom again has been like a really pioneering person that has yeah, it taught me again to kind of like not fit into like this one, like one-sided or like fixated side of like um, an African woman. I really have taken inspiration um, of women who have shaped uh, their uh, careers, who've made significant contributions uh, to uh, either their organization or to society. You know, I, I, I look at how they are uh, dealing with uh, challenges, how they leverage opportunities and that has very much encouraged me to take on significant responsibility. Open-minded about the opportunities that come after school. I would love to get an opportunity to do a postdoc, um, hopefully like in America or Canada or just anywhere that I can find an opportunity. Um, I really would love the um, idea of turning my PhD into a book. To see the University of Limerick thriving uh, to realize our potential uh, as um, a university with global impact. But you be go-getters in everything you do in life. Challenge yourself to be better each and every day. Have a belief in yourself and understand that, again, like your perspective is something that is needed. I think like you have more power to kind of like accomplish more than you would ever think of. It's genuinely like being your own high person. To choose something um, that, where they have their heart in it, uh, where they can make a real contribution uh, to, to, to change and it may be only a small contribution. Being ambitious, being flexible and outgoing despite all the challenges you experience, look at the bigger picture. 
stand out as the women that you are be empowered by all the women that are out there that have made it and excelled through all challenges and let that be your picture for what you aim for for your future the most important one is um, really believing in yourself i wouldn't necessarily make the distinction between men and women i would like to give you a different answer i think in this day, day and age it's really important that one has facilitatory qualities because we're looking at uh, a complex situation we're looking at complex organization and really it takes uh, every single person every citizens to make a change and in that way i do think one has to facilitate collaboration cooperation uh, one has to facilitate the development uh, of a shared purpose 